Hey guys, I'm here back from the future to give you some insights into the Tesla truck, the cyber truck that everyone's been excited about. I know I was really excited about it. It was awesome to see, to touch, to be around. Uh, I'm going to give you some information here, but uh, I suck at video editing, so bear with me. We're going to do this in one cut. Um, first, before I tell you about it, well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you it's not what a lot of you nerds on the internet were thinking that it's going to be like a like a Silverado competitor, like an F-150. I don't know what you guys are thinking. It's not a half-ton pickup truck, all right? This is Tesla's entry. This is their new platform into work trucks, all right? It, I mean, it'll function as a pickup truck, but it's big and it's bad, and it's gonna it's, it emasculates everything, all right? It, it rolled into the event with an F-150 on the bed, right? That's the payload weighs like 6,000 pounds, right? An F-150 has a payload of like 2,000 pounds or something. So it's got an F-150 on the back pulling a SpaceX rocket, all right? Now, Elon wanted 300,000 pounds of payload capacity. Of course, that doesn't happen. It'll tow it, but it's not like going to functionally tow it up the mountain. You know what I mean? It's got a fantastic battery. I think it was 600 miles. Uh, you know, it needed to be big to hold that battery. It's based off the semi. It Look, this is just like the render from the Tesla semi event for any of you who were paying attention a couple years ago. It basically looks like that. It does look like a futuristic military transporter, all right? So these are things that you know from some of Elon's tweets. I'm going to go through some of these. These are things that you all in 2019 past all know about. So I'm going to go through them, all right? Um, number one is going to be big. It's a big truck, all right, but it's it's very drivable because of the high, um, it's high, right, and it's got the the uh, the side steps that come in and out, right, electronically, like an F one hundred and fifty Platinum, to help you get up and down, right. It's high, but it's a forward cab design, all right. All you people who had those ugly renders with like a big fat front, there was one stupid one that had like a big frunk on there, like. Uh, it, Look, the only reason uh, ICE trucks are designed like that is because they have a, a you know a big motor in the front. They have the power plant somewhere. Now, if you look, there's a lot of work trucks that are have the cab, which is the part you sit on, over the motor. That's what this is, all right? Look at the renderings from 2017. That's what it looks like, right? It's a forward cab. That allows it to have a large bed or a large bed area. And also the rear seating, the crew cab. It's four doors, crew cab. Um, that allows it to have more of that without being extraordinarily long. Because it's already a big vehicle, right? Um, it's four wheels, right? It's a single axle. Um, but again, like I said, this is a heavy-duty vehicle. This is not a half ton, not even a 2500. Think of like, this is like Tesla's version of like the Freightliner uh luxury haulers all right google that google a freightliner m2 summit hauler that's going to be the closest thing to what this is that you can look at now in the present time because you haven't been to the future like i have right and seen it you can look that up that's what it's like a very big uh heavy duty truck like a serious vehicle not a half ton pickup not your soccer mom type of thing so it what it what it does is just in the, you know, like like Tesla does. They make a big entrance, right? They come not to, like if they just made a little truck that looked cool and it was the same, but you kind of did everything the same as an F-150, maybe a little better, it's not going to make waves, right? What did they do with the Model S? They came in, they kicked everybody's ass with an electric car. It's it's what, like how many years later? And, it's, and Porsche is like barely catching up, right? Porsche. Same thing, Model 3, it's way more efficient. They got the Model Y, they're just years ahead. So what they came to do with the truck is make some noise. No one's gonna be embarrassed to ride this thing. It, it just totally emasculates all other trucks, right? All the people, all like the hillbillies who like trucks and like the ice and coal roll, the, the electric vehicles. It, it, which look, I love, I've got a Ram, I love trucks. I was very, very, very excited like most of you about this. Um, it's going to be awesome. Fun to drive. It looks fantastic. Big screen uh, windshield. It's got the option for the ther the thermonuclear explosion-proof glass. Um, big uh, towing mirrors by default. A lot of visibility. Um, 
some cool features. So anyway, we'll go into that. Here's what you know so far though, that it's gonna be a dual motor, all wheel drive platform, um, that it's gonna have lockers actually, which it does. Um, 300,000 pounds towing capacity, we talked about that. Uh, oh, the 240 volt connection system that I was very excited about uh, to run heavy duty tools and an air compressor, it has that. Um, it has, what else? Uh, what did I say, 600 mile range. It's gonna. It's a six seater, right? Very big, very roomy. Like I said, look at the Freightliner, a lot of, and some old international trucks. Um, this is kind of a, that concept. Like I said, it's ready to go where this can be used as a flatbed tow truck uh, and can be modified, used later into like a dump truck, things like that. It's that, that class of truck. <clears throat> Extremely heavy duty, uh, very capable, very com comfortable though with the air ride suspension. Um, it's got some very cool, uh, very cool features, including a, uh, 